All right, here we are. We're back with part two of the Kylie Ann Studio story of how it began with a Nikon D3100 to a full-blown amazing photography team. And we're gonna start off with where we left off, which is what happened next after we put Rachel's pricing guide on our website a week. Rachel started shooting a lot. People kind of caught on that we had this amazing experience. We had this awesome preset that was true life colors and creamy and rich and beautiful, but they could get Rachel for half the price of me. And so she started getting booked a lot. And in April, she had at the end of April, so that was a couple months after we had hired her, she had five weddings. Let's see, four or five weddings. The last week of April for BYU, um, the week BYU got out and they were all out of town and at this point she would bring over the card and i would edit and then we'd return them but at this point with my one week turnaround time so i'm still turning around photos so now for two people working full time i'm st still turning around wedding photos portraits everything within a week and i it was suffocating me a little bit this last week of april because i was like i won't get these four or five weddings until sunday and some of them will be due on tuesday and then i'll have five more weddings to do so that's where I did this desperate, like, oh my gosh, I'm in over my head. Seriously, but seriously, does anyone, I'm like, not serious, but seriously, does anyone want to help me edit? And my friend, amazing friend, Katie Pease, popped on and was like, hey, I will, like, if you're serious. And then she messaged me and was like, no, seriously, like, if you're serious, I would love to help you. I would love to work for you. Um, and she was not a photographer. She had been taking pictures of her, her boys but she was not a photographer. Um, she actually um, had a vinyl company at the time, and but she was really good with Lightroom. So I said, okay, you're hired, let's do this. I'll teach you what I know. I sent her my one hour workflow. I did not have a Lightroom class at the time, but I started working on my Lightroom class that's now available to everyone, but I made that for my editors. So um, she just started working right away, um, editing. I gave her my preset. So how it works is, I create the preset so it looks the same no matter who's shooting. I create the preset. The preset includes my editing style, the curve, the exposure, the highlights, the whites, the color changes, everything. It includes everything that we do to a photo. And then I sync, we sync all the photos in that gallery to that preset. So they all have the style pasted on. And then Katie goes through and she makes sure the exposure's correct, the white balance is correct. So it's not too yellow, too dark, or too bright. So as you're shooting, sometimes the, the lighting changes. And so the preset is not going to look the same on it, all the lighting. So she's basically balancing out the lighting, the harsh shadows, um, color issues, if, if there's certain color issues with the sunset or things. So the preset puts the style. But then we have to go through each photo and make sure that it's perfectly matched to that style. So... At first, I'm sure it was so overwhelming and she's like, what did I get myself into? Five weddings in one week, oh my gosh. And I still was editing half of them and Katie was editing half of them. And that went on for the rest of that year. And then in 2016, we rebranded to Kylian Studios from Kylian Photography because we were growing and I wanted the name to represent more than just me. Um, so our team became Kylian Studios. It was me, Rachel, and Katie. And then we brought on a bright specialist and she started writing our bride tip blogs every week and she worked on our Pinterest account and um, just a bunch of just behind the scenes, extra things we offered value to our clients. And um, she was amazing, and, but then she got pregnant with her second and just couldn't handle more work. So, um, so now we have my little sister, Brooklyn, um, she is our bride specialist and she does actually a lot more now. She does bride tips and then she does our Pinterest. So she's scheduling pins. She's um, cleaning up boards. She's pinning our own work on there. She um, also does our Hootsuite, which our Hootsuite is in charge of all those Facebook posts that go on our photog blog um, Facebook group and to the Kylie Ann Studios page. So she actually... Um, does a lot of my social media. She does not do my Instagram or any of the posts that are like me or like my clients. Like I write my own blogs. I, um, Rachel writes her own blogs. Hillary writes her own blogs. 
everybody writes their own blogs, but she goes through and posts like, here's a helpful article on how to do back button focus. Here's an article for 10 Hollywood, 10 best Hollywood weddings. And she finds these articles that add value to our page for photographers and to our brides. Um, and she schedules them out in Hootsuite and what else does she do? She stomps all of our pictures. So we have a thing called blog stomp and she will piece the photos together and then we'll write the blogs and she'll do the SEO and schedule them. So a lot of the things that I used to do on my own, she now does a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. So Katie does our editing, Brooklyn does a lot of our blogging and social media, and then Rachel and Hillary, oh, we haven't got to Hillary. Okay, so that's 2016. We hired um, Bryn and now it's Brooklyn, and so then we had the four of us and things exploded. Rachel shot 50 weddings her first year as an associate in 2015. Or and yeah, 2015 she shot 50 weddings. No, 45 I think. 2016 she shot 50. Um, 2017 she shot 50. 2018 she shot, she has shot over 200 weddings working at Kathleen Studios, and she's only been here for four years. Um, she is on board right now. We have um, booked m better than we ever have, um, and it's only April. And so I think she, last year we shot 85 weddings. This year I wouldn't be surprised if we get to 100. Um, it's just insane. So 2016 happened. It was crazy. It was nuts. I lost my mind literally. No, was it 2016? Gosh, I can't keep it straight. I um, went through a lot of health stuff one of those years. I think it was 2015. Yeah, it was 2015. I went through a lot of health struggles um, because I was editing all this stuff. I was managing everything in an Excel spreadsheet. I was forgetting like who I sent invoices to and who I sent contracts. It was all manual. And so in 2016, when we rebranded, I started using um, a client management software that I'll talk about sometime. And I started, um, that's when I got Bryn to do a lot of the stuff that I didn't need to do that was important because we wanted to bring value to our brides. Um, we created a wedding magazine. Let's see if I have, this is the, one of the original. Oh, this is the original. We created the Kylie and Bride magazine, which is 80 pages of questions that every bride has that they're gonna ask us at some point, but they don't have to because we already have it written in this magazine. Um, we just did a lot of things that um, kind of systemized and streamlined our business. So 2016 was a good year because we were just really getting systems in place and everything. And then 2017 came and it was the best year yet because I worked as little, like the, the, the least amount I had up until this point um, but our studio had grown. We were shooting full time, both of us. Um, we had so many clients. We had so many amazing brides. I had so much editing that I didn't have to do and it was just the best year. And then 2018 was even better. Um, I worked the least amount I ever have and like even less than 2017, we had 85 weddings and um, hundred, hundreds of clients. I had my third baby in 2017. And then, okay, we got to back up. I'm going too fast. This is a big story. So in 2017, I um, just decided, you know what? We had a really good year these last two years. Rachel shot 50 weddings. She cannot shoot more than 50 weddings. It's just going to kill her. So um, we're turning people away. Why don't we bring on another associate? I'm having a baby. I don't want to shoot as much um, with this baby, although that year, that summer, in 2017, I shot in like nine different states. I had flown about 25 times when I was pregnant with Rowan. I have a onesie from every city I visited, from North Carolina to Alaska to Oregon to California. It was a nutso year and I loved it so much. It was such a fun year, but I also knew that I wasn't gonna be able to do that the next summer with a baby. So in 2017, I reached out to Hillary Stewart and um, one day I was just sitting there and I just felt this strong feeling that I needed to just ask Hillary if she'd ever want to be an associate. At this point, I had met Hillary for like a brief five minutes. I did not know anything about her. I, um, I literally did not know anything about her. I didn't know where she was from. I didn't know she had a child. I did not know anything about Hillary. And um, I had noticed her though because she was a cheerleader. Every single post um, I would see Hillary's name on. I'd see her on all the local photographers, on all the big photographers, and I'd see her saying encouraging things. 
I'd say her, I'd see her um, offer to help people when she, oh, I don't know very much, I'm just starting, but da 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 da. And I would see her just helping people everywhere and creating community and just being so sweet to everyone. And for me, what's important about building a team, it's not about photography skills at all. It's about people. Like I want to hire people that I can teach them the skill. I can teach Katie how to edit. I can teach Rachel how to take pictures. I can teach Hillary how to take pictures, but I cannot change who someone is. And so that's what's most important to me. And that's why I like really organically to pick my associates because um, then I can attract those people that I know are gonna serve our brides the best way possible. I want them to be the kindest. I want when Uncle Bob is like taking 100 pictures over the photographer's um, shoulder, I don't want my photographer to turn around and say, listen, I'm the photographer. I want my photographer to step aside and let Uncle Bob get his shot and then step back in the photo. So that's important to me. So I reached out to her and just said, hey, would you ever wanna be an associate? And she sent me this screenshot the other day and she didn't reply for 24 hours because she's like, does she mean for her? I don't wanna mess this up, I don't wanna answer wrong. Like there's no way she means for her. And she said, yes, I have a thought about it and tried to apply for other associate photography programs, but um, something like I'd be interested in, in doing it. And I said, great. <laughs> I think I just said, great, let's, start you as a backup and um, as we grow then we'll put you in full like put you in full full time and she was like wait what and I was kind of surprised too but for me what's happened is that all these things that have happened in my business were definitely divine intervention and um, I mean I could, there's no way these people could so quickly come into my I mean remember Rachel how I hired her in like 10 seconds flat I just know, and then there's other things that take me like weeks, like, oh, should I do that? Should I not do that? Should I do this? But the things that are right, they happen so quickly. So um, in May of that year, we went to California at the same time, just not together. We were just there and she took pictures of me and my kids and she came back that weekend. We trained her, we put those pictures up and we started booking her as our second Kylie Ann Associate Photographer. And she had, she shot, I think, 10 or 15 weddings that first year. That was 2017, 2018. She was full time with us. She shoots families and weddings and births and all the people. She's a people person for sure. She's always smiling. She's the kindest person. And she is so, so positive. She doesn't let things get her down. Um, so later we f I found out um, she was actually applying for jobs the week I hired her as an associate photographer. She was separated from her husband at the time and I did not know this at all. And she was really worried that I would not hire her as a photographer if she knew, as a wedding photographer, if she knew, if I knew she was going through a divorce, which of course, I mean, that doesn't matter at all to me. Um, but she came in one day and started crying and said, I need to tell you something. I'm like, oh no, is she quitting? Is she pregnant? And she said, I am getting a divorce and, um, your job proposal came at a time where I thought I was going to have to drop out of school and work full time to support myself. And, um, and I, I understand if you don't want to keep me as a wedding photographer, if I'm divorced, but I will love my clients just the same. And, um, anyways, it was really a huge moment in my life that I thought Hillary was a blessing to me. I thought, um, I was getting that divine inter intervention to reach out to her because I needed help because I was going to get pregnant later that month. Um, and then I, and then I found out that, you know, if you put yourself in the right position, um, God can bless other people through you. And, and even though, I mean, we're blessing to each other and we are connected because we both were looking for an answer to our problems. And, Anyways, um, now it's me, Rachel, Hillary, Katie, and Brooklyn, and we are a big, loving, beautiful team. Um, we have so much fun together, and we're going to be growing soon, um, so I will get on and introduce you to the next edition as that comes, but um, now, last year we shot 85 weddings, over 100 clients, we're on track to do the same this year. Um, I am shooting a lot more commercial work and brands and um, baby and kid brands in my studio. 
Rachel is shooting 50 weddings a year. Hillary is shooting weddings and families. And um, Katie is editing, editing all of our stuff. She actually doesn't edit mine yet because I still love the editing. Um, but I know there's going to be some times that I'm just too busy to get my turnaround time. We still turn around everything in a week. Um, anyways, that is us. So if you have questions, leave them below because we'd love to. I think I want to bring in each girl and kind of talk about their story and, and their perspective of it if um, you want to know more. Thank you for watching our very first Kylie and Studios YouTube video. We plan on bringing a lot of amazing content to this channel. So please subscribe. Please tell your friends about it. Please comment below. We're going to bring photography tips, bride tips for our amazing brides. We're going to be bringing business and marketing tips, a little behind the scenes of our shoots, of our new house, of our studio. Um, some of it will be formal sitting down talking like this. I'll bring in Rachel and Hillary to kind of tell their stories too from their perspectives. Please leave a comment below on what you want to hear first and we'll come in. We're going to keep it really casual. Um, I don't want it to be super overproduced and I don't want it to be, I want it to be professional, but I want you to feel like we're your best friends, not um, just your, you know, your mentors. We want to be your peers too. So. You're the one I love.